Welcome to the Creative Hugsa. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a 1980s retro wave graphic in Affinity Photo. Retro wave, which is also called synth wave, is derived from an electronic music genre that's associated with action or sci fi movie soundtracks of the 80s. Similarly, retro wave, when referring to art, incorporates aesthetics of the 1980s. This includes arcade games, fashion, pop culture, etc. Some themes of the retro wave graphic style are neon lights or colors, wireframe computer graphics, cityscapes, and mountain ranges. First, go to File New, Web, then select FHD 1080p, which is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Next, go to the Swatches panel. Double click on the white color to bring up the color chooser. You can choose your own background color. I set the background color to the following hex code, 200D3A. After that, grab the Flood Fill tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and click on the document. It'll fill the document with the background color you've chosen. Also, a new pixel layer will be created in the Layers panel with the background color. Now, grab the Ellipse tool from the Tools panel. Press Ctrl and Shift and draw an ellipse. Place it in the center of the document. In the toolbar, make sure you have snapping turned on. Grab the gradient tool from the tools panel. Drag the gradient tool from the top of the ellipse to the bottom. Next, select the top color. Then, go to the swatches panel. Double click on the color and set the fill color to ECA089. After that, select the bottom color. Set its fill color to F6019D. Now, grab the rectangle tool from the tools panel. Dry rectangle across the bottom part of the ellipse. Set it to black and get rid of the stroke color. Press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of the ellipse. Next, move the duplicate ellipse slightly up, holding shift. Then, press Ctrl plus J to make three more duplicates of the rectangle. You should have a total of five rectangles. Next, select all of the rectangles and the ellipse in the Layers panel. Go to the Boolean Operations panel and select Subtract. Now, let's make the grid for the Retro Wave graphic. Grab the Pen tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Swatches panel and select the stroke. Set the stroke color to the following color, F6019D. Get rid of the fill color. Next, go to the Context toolbar and set the width of the stroke to three points. Take the pen tool and draw a line. Hold Shift while drawing the line so that it'll be straight. With the line still selected, press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of it. Then grab the Move tool and drag the duplicated line slightly to the right while holding Shift. Then press Ctrl and J to make more duplicates of the line until they're across the document. In the Layers panel, select all of the lines. Press and hold Ctrl, then stretch the lines out past the document. After that, press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of all the lines. Now hold Shift and rotate the duplicated lines negative 90 degrees. Then press and hold Ctrl and stretch these lines past the document too. Go to the Layers panel and select all of the lines. Select the first line at the top, then scroll down. Hold Shift and select the last line. This will select all of the lines. Next, press Ctrl and G to group the lines together, or right-click on the selection and click Group. Now, grab the Perspective tool from the Tools panel. In the Layers panel, the grid group will turn into a pixel layer. Take the bottom left point and drag it out to the left. Then, grab the bottom right point and drag it out to the right. If you need to zoom out to view more of the document, you can. To zoom out, press Ctrl and roll the ball of your mouse down. After that, select the top left point and drag it down. 
Then select the top right point and drag it down. Drag both of these points down until they're under the ellipse. Once you've done that, hit apply. In the layers panel, drag the grid layer below the ellipse. Grab the pen tool from the tools panel. Draw a line across our grid. Draw this line below the ellipse. With the line still selected, go to the Layers panel and select the FX Layers icon. Select Outer Glow. Set the Blend Mode to Screen. Opacity to 100%. Radius to 10 pixels. And Intensity to 18%. The color should be white. Select the ellipse and then select the FX icon in the Layers panel. Then select Outer Glow. Set the Blend Mode to Screen, Opacity to 80%, Radius to 30 pixels, and Intensity to 35%. Go to Color and set it to the following color, D40078. Let's add a glow to our grid. Now select the grid layer. Click the FX icon and select Outer Glow. Go to color and set it to our pink color, which is D40078. Set the blend mode to normal. Opacity to 100%. Radius to 10 pixels. Intensity to 50%. Next, grab the pen tool from the tools panel. We're going to create some mountains. Take the pen tool and click on the document to make a point at our horizon line. Instead of having pointed edges for the mountain, I wanted to have it rounded. The points will change to a circle instead of a square. After making the first mountain range, let's make the other one. Go to the swatches panel, get rid of the stroke, and make the fill color for the mountains black. In the layers panel, select our line we created on the grid and drag it to the top. Click on the FX on the layer. Change the radius to 50 pixels, the intensity to 73% and the color to the pink color we used before. The hex code for it is F6019D. Then, with the line still selected, press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of it. Now, let's create some grid patterns on our mountains. This will be the wireframe computer graphics look. With the wireframe, it contains vertices and lines that are used to render 3D images and animations. For this, we'll create polygonal shapes. Grab the pen tool from the tools panel. Go to the swatches panel. Select the stroke and give it the following color, 22904A. Make sure the fill color is off. Next, create a triangle on our mountain. Make sure you connect it to complete the shape. Then press Ctrl and click on the document before creating the next shape. If you don't, the previous point will still be active and it will connect to your next shape's point. Now create another triangular shape. Keep creating these shapes across the mountains. I'm going to speed it up here to do this part.
After creating all of the shapes, go to the Layers panel. Select all of our triangle shapes. Then press Ctrl and G to group them together. Or right click on the selection and click Group. In the Layers panel, label the group Mountain Lines. With the group selected, click on the FX icon. Select Outer Glow. Set the Blend Mode to Normal. Next, set the color to 2AB45C. Then, set the opacity to 85%, radius to 11 pixels, and intensity to 50%. In the Layers panel, click on the Add Pixel Layer to add a new layer. Grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Swatches panel and set the color to white. Next, go to the Brushes panel. Then, go to the Basic Brushes and select the 16 pixel Round Soft Brush. We're going to add some stars to the background. Take the brush and make a few dots across the sky area. Make sure you have the Pixel Layer selected. You can place them randomly on the document. After that, select the star layer and name it Stars in the Layers panel. Next, select the FX icon and click Outer Glow. Set the Blend Mode to Screen, Opacity to 100%, Radius to 20 pixels, and the Intensity to 50%. Then, click the Live Filters icon and select Gaussian Blur. For the radius, set it to 3 pixels. The filter layer should appear inside of the stars layer. And this is how to create a 1980s retro wave graphic in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.